call all Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakach Kodash. All right, man, that's who this word ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ in the ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue. First, I'd like to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach real well. I'd also like to give a shout out to the head of the men of Israel camp, the brother Kazak, out here in Greenville, South Carolina, who I also teach under. I'd also like to give a shout out to the other Akim across the four corners of the earth who's out here pushing and teaching this truth, man. So y'all like to say Shalom, man. You know, this is your brother, the Bach. Coming back, you know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashmel you know, uh, with the topic, with the topic today of brotherly love, man. You know, bro, just, just, just truly having that brotherly love, man. Like, and then, I mean, after this video, I won't want to possibly make it to where it goes in brother's head. Like, do I truly have brotherly love, man? What is brotherly love, man? Brotherly love is is, is doing for brothers, man. It's truly doing for, for brothers. Um, with like and passionate for doing it, like 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 tr have that sincere, have that sincereness in their heart to do for brothers, you know, <clears throat> you know to 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 truly do for brothers, man. You no matter what the situation is, no matter if it's alms, no matter if it's if it's you know just giving something randomly that's not alms, you know, just you know. Or, or or even just spending time with the brothers, man. Just just dwelling with the brothers, man. That's 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 brotherly. That's all ties into brotherly love, you know. Like like for doing for brothers, just sometimes brothers just need brothers to be there, you know. You 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 can be doing for that brother just by being in that brother's presence, you you know. Um, so that's gonna be the topic at hand today. But I mean, you know, let's let's get straight into it. I'm gonna start off with, uh, Matthew six from the top, you know. All right, it says, um. So like him, take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of men. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your father, which is in heaven, man. So basically starting off, that's saying don't don't try to do for brothers. Just to, to let other brothers see you doing for that brother. Because that's not brotherly love, man. That's not sincere, right? That's just you wanting to be seen, Right. I also I also spoke about this in the uh, in the previous video I did. It was called uh, I think it was uh, Israel just want to be recognized, man. You know, let don't do it to be seen, man. Like I said, like I said, man, you gotta do it out of sincerity of your heart, man. Because do like I said, do not the sincerity of your heart is truly the brotherly love, man. That's that's love for that brother. You doing it for that brother behind closed doors where no other man can see it, man. The only, only person who can see it is Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, man. All right, continuing on, it says, Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish the verse 2 real quick. That they, yeah, that they may have glory of man. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Their reward that he's talking about right there is, is being seen. Like like I said, you know them being on, them doing for brothers, them, them like yeah man, I did that for him man, he got that because of me man, he did it up, you know that's not truly brotherly love, that's just you doing it to be seen, to make it seem like you got brotherly love for him, oh he loved him, he did this and that, you know, but that's truly not the case man, that's not sincere, that's not sincere man. Verse three, but when thou uh do when thou doest arms, let thine let not thine left hand know what thy right hand doeth. Verse 4, that thine arms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Shall reward thee openly. Man, you doing for brothers? Like I said, either it's arms, either it's, you know, just being in that brother's presence when that brother, if that brother down, he, he, he talking to that brother, you know? Doing all these things for that brother simply is taking a brother somewhere if, if they need it, man. You know, if that brother don't have it, man, taking that brother if they need it somewhere or doing for that brother when they don't got it, man. Or or if it comes to, you know, let's say if it's a situation, you know, matter of fact, I'm going to speak for myself, man. I went uh, probably like three, four years ago when I was coming in the truth. You know, I was being sincere. Um, I was being, as a matter of fact, um, as far as the head of the camp, man. And that's how I, I truly know, man, that brother, that brother got love for me and that brother know I got love for him, man. Because when I was down, you know, the brother did, I, I didn't have a place to, to, to stay, you know, 
and the brother did for me, the brother, without a doubt, man, he, he for an example, he let me come in, man, and in his household, man. And, and he did for me, man, when I didn't have it. That's truly brotherly love, man. He did it without a doubt. Man, I, I called him. I was like, brother, I'm down. I, I don't got it, you know? And and he and he did for me, man. You know, that's what I'm saying. It, it's not always arms, man. It's not always money, man. Is is if that brother's in need, man. If if you got it, man, do it. If you got it, man, do it. If you, matter of fact, matter of fact, let me get that, man. Let me get that. Let me let me go to, um, Tobit four. Man, I'm gonna start right here at eight, man. Hitting straight on the point, man. It says Tobit, this Tobit four and eight, um, and it says, "If thou have abundance, give alms accordingly. If thou have but a little, be not afraid to give accordingly to that little, right?" And that's that's exactly what that brother did, man. I don't know if that brother, I don't know if if the if if the head uh, above me of the camp, you know, I don't know if. If that brother had it all necessarily, or or or, or if he had a, if he was jumping, I don't know, but the brother did for me regardless. You know, referring back to my example, he did no matter what, man. That brother, that brother did, and and, and that's truly brotherly love, and he did it out of that of sincereness and kindness of his heart. You know, I'm gonna go to verse nine, for thou layest up a good treasure for thyself. Ah, uh, do I want to go down that? Uh, yeah, all right, Salakim. I'm, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read through. I'm gonna read to eleven. Salakim, uh, for thou layest up a good treasure for thyself uh, against the day of necessity, because thine arms do deliver from death and suffering, and and the suffering not to come into darkness. For arms is is a good gift unto all that give it in the sight of the most high, man. Eh, I, I'm going to read that verse 4. I mean, it's like, I'm going to read that verse 11 one more time, man. For arms is a good gift unto all that give it in the sight of the most high, man. Doing it in secret, man. Doing doing for brothers, man, when brothers need it. And, and matter of fact, let me, I'm, and I'm going to also say, not even if brothers need it, man. If it's just on your spirit, do, you know, do. Like I said, man, if if, if you have abundance, give accordingly. You know, like it, it, I mean, I, that's not necessarily saying you got to give every dime, you know, but do what you can. You know, if that if that brother's if that brother's is, is, is set with, with as far as money, you know, you can simply, you know, I don't know, man, just just doing. That's the point, man. Truly, truly, the, the the point is truly having that brotherly love, man. Because we're gonna we're gonna come into a time to where we're gonna truly see if brothers truly have that brotherly love. You know, we're gonna truly see that. We're gonna truly see it with the times we're coming in. We don't know what's gonna happen, brothers. Well, brothers will be on the run in the time that's that's about to come to pass, and and, and I, like we may stay. In different parts of our cities, you know, brothers may run to this part of the city and hey, they know this brother here. Are you going to truly let that brother in? You know, that's doing for that brother. Are you are you truly going to do you truly got love for that brother that you're going to bring? If it's him and his family that's on the run, are y'all going to bring him in? And those time that's going to come to pass. These are questions that you got to ask yourself, man, as, according, uh, as far as brotherly love, man. As far as brotherly love, man, you got to ask yourself this, man, because we coming in the times. To where it's truly going to show if you have it or if you don't. Honestly. All right? Honestly, man. Um, We'll go to... Uh, let me get this real quick. I'm going to go to 1 Peter 4 and 8. Kind. Uh, 1 Peter 4 and 8. And above all things, have fervent charity. Amongst yourself for charity shall cover the multitude of sins, man. Matter of fact, let's let's go let's go into this word. Um, charity, man. Let's go into this word charity, man. Um, First Peter four, eight, man. Let's go into this word charity, man. Analytical coordinates. 
Come on. Affection, goodwill, love, brotherly love, man. Brotherly love, man. That, that's, that's what it's saying. Doing for brothers, man, will cover the multitude of sins. Will cover your multitude of sins. Doing for brothers, man. Truly having that brotherly love, man. Truly having that brotherly love, man. Doing it out of sincereness and, and, and kindness of your heart, man. Could, could, could cover you. Will cover you. If you do it according to the scriptures in secret. Doing it out of sincereness of your heart. Doing for brothers. That will cover you, man. That will cover you, man. Matter uh, oh, hold on. It was um, I think it was Paul talking, and he he was like, um, he was like, yeah, man, I have the faith of like moving mountains, and um, but I'm nothing without charity, man. I'm, matter of fact, hold on. I think that was. Uh, let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Was it? I think it was the first. No, no, it was first Corinthians. Uh, no, thirteen. It was thirteen. 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 Come, 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 Right here. Right here. Right here. First Corinthians thirteen to two. It says, although I have the gift of prophecies and understanding all mysteries. Right. So all, Paul is saying, though I have, you know, though I have the gift of understanding. Being a true, um, being a true prophet of Yahweh Bashim or Shah, you know, and understanding what's the, what's the time to come to pass, understanding all of this, right? It's continuing on. It says, and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I can remove mountains, I have not charity. I am nothing. So this man Paul is literally sitting right here saying, man, I don't. I have. My faith is out of this roof. My knowledge and my gift of knowing prophecies and understanding and having all knowledge is out of this roof, man. But I'm not shit without charity. He's he, he was saying he's not nothing without that charity, man. He's not nothing without that brotherly love, man. Because brotherly love, hold on, I think it's down in this chapter. I'm gonna jump to it. Let me see. I'm straight to verse 13, it says, and now abide faith, hope, and charity, these three, but the greatness of these is charity, man. So no matter what it is you got, no matter how long you've been in, in this truth, man, no matter if you've been in here three, like for myself, I've been in here, you know, a few years, I say, uh, well, I, I've known about truth since for for four years, but I have I didn't hit the plow until two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Going on three years, two years ago, going on three. Yes, if I'm not mistaken, um, you know. So as you know, and um, I've been in here that long. You know, brothers been in here four years, five years, ten years, twelve years, fourteen years. And yes, brothers know all of this and have this all this knowledge. And yes, brothers gain all this faith during all that time, but. We ain't nothing without that charity, man. For we're doing for brothers, man. Having having that true brotherly love, man. We nothing without it. Honestly. Honestly, man. So that that's the point. That's the point. That's the topic at hand, man. Is 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 truly brotherly love, man. Like truly, do you have that brotherly love for brothers, man? Or are, are are you like like doing for brothers? Do you truly have the sincereness of your heart of doing for brothers, man? That's the point, and that's that's the, that's the topic. Because, like I said earlier in the video, man, we coming into a time, man, where you got you gonna have to see, where you're gonna see if the brothers that you've been around truly had that brotherly love, man. Are they truly gonna open their arms, or 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 coming up to those times, our brother? If you see a brother down bad, you know, are you gonna do for that brother, or if that brother's up? Are you gonna do you know whatever you know whatever the case may be, man? I don't I don't know. I'm just throwing out different examples, man. But the topic is the the, the point at hand is brotherly love, man. You know, you know. But child rots is out, man. You you brothers get the point, man. And 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 and, and feeling the uh, as far as brotherly love, man. You know. But your high rots is out. The video was edifying that your brothers could take from it, you know. And with that, I'm gonna go to end it, man. Shalom, shalom.